Ever wonder how much money you're losing by not tracking your YouTube links? Well, by the end of this video, I'm going to share with you why tracking your links is a game changer and how to easily create tracking links so you can avoid leaving money on the table. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so how can tracking your links print you more money? Well, let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to look at are the main benefits of doing it. All right. So if you look right here, it says you can instantly see which videos and links are driving you traffic. So basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to make this specific video. Let's just say video A. So video A needs to be associated with link A. Okay. So I'll give you a perfect example. So on this channel, I promote a product called Descript. Descript is an AI video editor, right? Now with that specific tool, it has different things that it does. It has a screen recorder. It has a, a tool that allows me to remove the background. It also has a tool that allows me to remove the green screen. Like it has many different features, right? Now I could just say, okay, I'm just going to put the same link on every every single video. But see, the problem with that is that it doesn't allow me to optimize to see which specific video is driving me more traffic or placements. Okay. And I'm going to break all this down into complete detail. So just stick with me. All right. All right. So essentially what it is, is you need to associate your video with a specific link. Okay. This is level one link to video. So that way you know exactly which video is driving you the most amount of clicks the most amount of leads or most amount of sales, whatever the goal is that you're trying to hit. Okay, so let's go to level two. Okay, so level two is where we get into different placements, all right? So we already talked about trying to connect the video with a link, but now if you look right here, it says you can easily create different tracking links for each video, which is level one, and specific placements. So right here, you can see it says which YouTube video placement to use for maximum traffic. There's four main places that you can put links on YouTube videos. You got the description, you got the pinned comments, you got the info cards for some people, and you got the end screen cards, all right? Now, when you put your links in those specific places, what you wanna do is you wanna use a different link for each and every single one of them. Why is that? We go right back to optimization. Now you can see, okay, boom, info cards is driving me more clicks. So I definitely need to put more links in the info cards a lot more. So once you see, okay, this one is working better, you, you want to make sure you don't go on any of your videos and don't do that thing, right? So it's all about learning. It's a testing process to see which one is working the best. And then you use that data to keep optimizing. Okay. So hopefully that part makes sense. That's pretty much what this visual representation kind of goes through. Now, level three of this is conversion tracking. All right. So this kind of ties into the people who have complete control of their sales process. So most people, they either have a lead magnet where they have a capture page where people put their name, email, and phone number in, and then they're taken to another page, which is typically a landing page or a thank you page or something like that. Right now, when they go to this page, there's a, you know, a software and I'm, I'm going to show you the software I use to do a lot of these things. But what it does is it'll track the action to say, once they go to the thank you page, boom, they're a lead. And then it'll, it'll fire off with the code. Now, when they get on that page, what you can do is you can also track if a person decides to go to a sales page. So boom, they come to your thank you page and they're like, oh, this, this is interesting. They click the button boom, it registers with the button click. Now they go to the other page. Now I know I'm kind of getting getting kind of granular into some of the advanced stuff, but the basics of this is to just make sure that you associate a video with a link. Okay. And then you also associate different placements with specific links. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a tracking link and then associate it with your video and then how you can go throughout this entire process. Okay. So here's how you're going to create your tracking link. So we're going to be using a tool called click magic so click magic is a tool that will allow you to track all of your links across the internet right doesn't matter affiliate link doesn't even matter all right now i do want to say right up front i've been using this tool since about 2015 2016 and i haven't stopped using it so that should tell you something about this tool is very very valuable all right 
All right, so if you want to get access to it at any point, just go ahead and use the first link in the description or any of the other link placements that I talked about. They will all be there, all right? All right, so let's get to what you're here for. All right, so this right here is what Click Magic looks like. When you get here, once your stats start coming in, you'll be able to see all your clicks. If you set up the actions on your website, like this is more or less like if you have complete control of the sales funnel, then you can track actions. You can also track your sales, right? So you'll be able to log in here and see, oh, I made five sales today, right? You'll be able to see all of that. All right, so now you can see up here at the top, it says campaigns. So this is more in line with like if you are a person who not only does organic, but you do paid ads, this will allow you to see a lot more data. You can use it also for your YouTube videos, but that's not our focus for this particular video right here, all right? Hey, so real quick, I just wanna interrupt the video for a few moments because as I was recording, I thought about something. So yes, I'm talking about click magic and the different things that it can do, but one thing that I didn't really dive too deep in in the actual video is I didn't talk about their knowledge base, right? Which is basically a whole bunch of articles where they literally show you step-by-step step how to do everything with their platform. And and on top of that, they got videos. And we all know that video is the best way to learn, at least in my honest opinion, right? So all you gotta do is look up in the top right corner inside of Click Magic, click on the Learn tab. It's gonna pop down. Go ahead and click on the Knowledge Base, and then you'll be able to type in, like if you see something in Click Magic, you don't really know what it is, just go to the Knowledge Base, type that name in, and it's gonna pull it up for you. So I just want to, you know, quickly interrupt and share with you that because I know that it's gonna be valuable for you. Now, you can see right here it says tracking links. This is the one we are gonna focus on, all right? And then rotators, just to give you a little bit of knowledge on it, basically it's a co-op, right? So you give people a certain amount of clicks and it'll keep rotating every single time you know, the link is click. So like if you have a team in network marketing or you're doing any type of co-op type of stuff, then you can use those type of link, all right? But like I said, the focus for this video is to create a tracking link. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Okay, so now on this page, what you wanna do is you wanna click on new link, Okay, so let's go through this. So the link group, I don't tend to change it, but I do have a couple. So as you can see right here, boom, boom, boom. I've created these and all it does is it creates a group and then links all the links that are associated with that all together. Okay, so now right here, the link name, let's go ahead and, and name the link specific to whatever video I'm gonna be adding this to. So this particular video right here called how to make a text-to-speech YouTube video step-by-step, -step, we're gonna be adding it to this one, right? So I do have all the setup like I was talking to you about earlier in the video, but there are still some videos that I have not done it to, all right? All right, so let's go back over here. Okay, so this is the text-to-speech video, so we wanna connect it. So I'm gonna name this Descript because I'm promoting Descript in that video. And then since it's the text-to-speech video, I'm gonna go ahead and type text-to-speech. Okay, so now I know it's the Descript link from the text-to-speech video. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do this. And then now you can see this right here is the default click magic link. You can use that, there's nothing wrong with it. It just will allow you to track or you can do what I did, which is you can use one of your domains. So track rakeemgetsconversions.com, yourdreamsareal.today. So this is typically the one that I use, so I click that. And then you wanna create a slug. So what do you want, want it to say on the end? So for me, I'm just gonna put Descript. We're gonna pretty much put the same thing. So I'm gonna put Descript text to speech. No, matter of fact, let's put the text to speech first. So text to speech, and then we'll put Descript on the end like that, right? Okay, so now in this particular box right here, what you wanna do is you wanna put in my case, it's an affiliate link, right? So whatever the link is that you want people to go to, you put that here. So let me grab the affiliate link real quick. Boom, there's my Descript affiliate link. Let's go back. We're gonna paste it in here like this. All right, so everything is done for this page. Now let's go to these next tab. So this is where you can add pixels. So if you wanna add a Facebook pixel, if you wanna add the click magic pixel, like if you wanna track actions or the sales. Now obviously I don't have complete control of this sales process, right? Because it's an affiliate link, but there is a way for you to control the sales process. So if you go to create dynamic affiliate link, this will allow you to put another page in front of it and still register your affiliate link, right? Super, super 
super powerful stuff. Now, another thing we can look at is the cost, but that doesn't associate with you because you're not paying for anything because you're creating YouTube videos. But if you are, then you could use that one. So we're going to skip all the way. We're going to skip past these two because they don't really, you know, align with what we're talking about in this video. But this right here called geo. So geo targeting is where you can include certain countries and you can exclude certain countries. All right. So let me show you what it looks like real quick. So if I hit exclude, I can exclude all tier one countries. So if I click it, you see they auto populate in there. I'm going to unselect those. You can go to tier two. It'll add all 43 tier two countries. Uh, you can go to tier three, which is over 200 countries. And then let me unselect. And then, of course, you can click all the EU countries, all right, which you can see is 28. All right. Now, I'm not doing any exclusions, but this is beneficial. Like if you're an affiliate and your affiliate program won't pay you if certain countries come in, then you can use something like this right there. All right. So just want to share with you the value of having something like that. All right. So you can also go to the filter. So this is for like bot clicks. This is for server clicks, spiders, all of those things. They all exist right there. There aren't just people clicking on your stuff. There's like servers and certain bots that click on stuff and they'll filter those black, those bad clicks. OK, so then you can go to miscellaneous. This is more or less like I was saying, like if you're doing some co-op type stuff. So we want, we're not going to focus on that. So we're going to make sure we go back to geo. We're going to set this back to all countries. We're going to go back here, make sure everything is good. Now, what we'll do is we'll hit create tracking link. OK, so now our link has been created. Right. You can see it up there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that specific link. Right. So let's go to page two. OK, so you can see Descript text to speech video. So now I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and copy right here, go over to my YouTube video and I'm going to put that specific link right here just like that. And then now I'll go ahead and hit save. Now, at this particular point, I would normally be done. Right. But one of the things that I do is I put it in all four of those placements. So in the info card, also as an end screen, also in the pin comments and so on and so on. But I don't want to waste your time here in this video. So we're not going to put it in every one of those sections. But I just want to kind of remind you that that should be something that you do. So that way you'll know where majority of the clicks are coming from. All right. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to get access to Click Magic, there will be a link down below. You get a free 14 days to test it out. So just just keep that in mind. And then if you get to the point of the 14 days where you feel like, you know, this isn't for you, that's fine, too. But if you do feel like it's something that could be of value to you, then definitely just use those links. Get started. Go through the 14 days, figure it out. And of course, I'll be here to help you if you have any questions. With that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.